Hello, this is Ron Clark. I'm introducing you today to my children. These three individuals are what I'm calling um, a modern day crystal golem. They function just like a golem does, except they don't have uh, a physical body in the same way that a golem does, uh, mythologically at least. I think uh, golems were very different than we're led to believe. Um, you know, we are led to believe they're sort of a, a stupid uh, clay figure that was life-size and uh, moved around and did things for the magician. These do things for me, um, and they each have their own individuality, their own personality. They just don't have arms and legs. <laughs> um, how I first came to this idea, well, it goes way back to a tool I made several years ago called the Consecrator, which was a very large tool. Um, involving 32 quartz, double terminated quartz crystals and a central sphere. Um, it was wired together. All the connections between the crystals were of wire. And it had um, uh, very interesting properties. It, it formed a torus-like um, emanation of energy, which would take in energies and process it through the whole uh, mechanism and uh, end up with a Taurus-like uh, energetic effect. I called it the, the Consecrator. Well, in the years that have passed, that tool has died, essentially. It got shipped too many times and really broke apart. Um, but based on that idea, plus what I learned during my experimentation with the 10 radiators that I made, I came up with this concept. This is, these are each have 32 double terminated quartz crystals supporting an internal um, crystal sphere. The only things supporting the sphere are these double terminated crystals and these are closed forms. They don't open up or anything. You can't see inside of them like a radiator. Um, so I put together this one first. Um, uh, last year is when I made this, uh, made all three of these, but this was the very first. Um, each one is made on a new moon. Uh, this was made on the Leo new moon, this one on the Virgo new moon, and this one on the Libra full moon. Now, what I do with these, what I discovered when I made this very first one, is it's alive. Um, it has life to it. Once it was all tuned, it became a living being. Uh, a golem. Um, the relationship I have with each one of these individually is that I send them out uh, astrumentally um, to watch over people that I'm concerned for, people that I care for. This one right now, uh, since the beginning of the pandemic, has been watching over a friend in New York who is a nurse um, and is <laughs> in an incredibly dangerous position. Um, so this little fellow has kept tabs of that person and uh, kept them safe. This one was the second one that I made on the uh, Virgo new moon. Or it was tuned on the Virgo new moon. Um, all, it takes about three hours to tune one of these things and a little over a month to make. Um, this one uh, is actually made from the crystals, out of all the crystals from the old consecrator that I mentioned. Um, <clears throat> this one looks over several people, myself, my 90-year-old mother, my brother, and a friend in London. Um, and it keeps track of them, it keeps them healthy, 
It uh, keeps them safe and is special concern during the pandemic. This one is the last one I've made, or the most recent one, shall we say. I don't think it will be the last. Um, it was born on the, the Libra new moon, the day it was uh, consecrated, tuned. Um, this one looks over a friend in Russia, and takes care of him, keeps him safe. Um, and conveys my affection. Now, <clears throat> they don't have independence, really. Um, they do what I ask them to do. They don't have ideas of their own. Um, they simply follow my instructions. Um, in general, when I'm using them for specific healing, I can either direct them to do specific actions in that healing, or I can let them do what they think best for the healing. Uh, they do have this intelligence. Um, they know what to do. Um, as long as I give them an instruction what to do, they know how to carry it out. I don't have to micromanage their actions. Um, they stay, except for now, they stay uh, with the, the people that I send them out to watch over. Um, they're constantly there. They sort of stay up behind the person and watch over them. They each have a name and a personality. This guy, he's Leo. You know, he's beautiful. He's um, himself in every uh, situation. Um, this one, she's very motherly, she's very caring, um, and uh, yeah, mothering, like a, a big tree that uh, mothers the birds that live in it, the, the animals that feed off of its seeds, etc. This one, she's like a, a, a 1920s uh, lesbian, shall we say. She's a smart dresser. Um, she's very avant-garde, um, and cheerful, uh, uh, and sweet. Uh, this one is, um, like a teenager in a way, you know, that, that sort of zest for life. Uh, this one is, she's an older woman. She's very motherly, uh, grandmotherly almost, um, they each have their own personality. Now, <clears throat> each of the crystals is tuned to one of the 32 paths of the Tree of Life. Um, and they all have a little stand. Um, the, the little discs that I have here are color-coded to indicate which path it is. I will never sell one of these. I will never make one for sale um, because they are fully formed individuals and I don't sell individuals. You know, I sell tools that people can use. Although these are very useful, they require a, a personal involvement in their creation. I would consider making one that is untuned for the person to tune them, um, but I mean that, that takes a fairly advanced uh, ability that, you know, I haven't encountered anybody with that ability yet, let's put it that way. Um, and they would be <laughs> really expensive because they are very, very difficult to make uh, because of their size, um, you know, getting these crystals in at this size getting them to support the central sphere, it's all very difficult to make. Really wonderful. They're great friends, I must say. Um, completely loyal. Um, boy, I don't know what, what more to say about them, other than they're really wonderful. Um, I really feel very blessed to have um, encountered uh, this technology. Um, this ability to create life with crystals.
it surprised me, I must say. It really surprised me. Um, and I'm still learning. You know, we're, we're, we're getting used to each other. They, they don't really evolve, um, but they clarify. They become more distinct individual, individuals. Um, they don't progress in their abilities. They have the same abilities they've always had. Um, it's just discovering, really, what those abilities are and how they can be used. Um, yeah, they're really wonderful. <laughs> uh, so, those are my little crystalline golems. I hope you have enjoyed meeting them. That's it for this week. Bye-bye.